Only you can answer that. The question is, if you lose weight, would you lose your boobs and your face sex? How you take care of your body while you're doing the body transformation. Some people lose the weight by cutting, strictly just cutting calories without exercise. When you do that, you will look saggy and you will lose certain body fat and, but you also will lose a lot of muscle and this is why women look um, actually worse when they started the body, um, body transformation clearly just strictly cutting on calories and not working out so let's ask coach Ellen what is your <laughs> insight on this question a lot of women don't want to work out because they're afraid to look um, saggy afterward. Saggy only happens if a person is not toning that area of their body and if they're not using the right supplementation to tighten and tone the skin. So there's a supplement or a food source, which really what supplement is, is just condensed food sources um, for almost everything. You know, we've already got supplements to support bones and we got uh, supplements to support skin and supplements to support muscles supplements to support hair growth mm -hmm. for people that have hair loss so if someone is getting saggy skin around their face it just means that they need to number one understand how to work out the face because mm -hmm. there's muscles in your neck and face mm -hmm. so if you work that out it won't get saggy unless you drop a, like a large amount of weight mm -hmm. and I am referring to people that have 5, 10, 15 pounds of weight loss to, to get rid of if you're within that range you may have a short period of time where it might feel a little looser because you have lost that weight and it's a good thing mm -hmm. but it doesn't stay that way and it can become tighter you just got to know how to do that mm -hmm. now if you're talking about having excess weight of 20, 30, 50 pounds or more yeah, that's a different story you know, it will get loose and it will get loose for a longer period of time and you would have to take additional steps in order to tighten that. But then that becomes the question, right? If you want to get a leaner, is it worth it to you to get a leaner midsection if the cost is that you also have to learn how to tighten the muscles in the skin around your face? Now, only you can answer that. So if it is, then it's worth finding out. And if it's not, well then it may be better worth just staying where you're at. But ultimately, that kind of question makes me believe that you got to know what you want for you. And when you make these kind of decisions, don't do it because someone else told you or because it's a fad or because it's something that sounds exciting in the moment. Do it because it's something that actually really matters to you. And when you're clear, when you're clear on what you want, this question becomes very clear on how to answer. So you, you're right. Um, in terms of um, getting what we want, for example, you wanted to lose the body fat and some of the muscles are gone, but how? what else can you do to replace the, the bad things that you're taking out? Replace them with good stuff. And what I mean by that means uh, I started taking collagen because I know collagen will help me um, firm my skin better, nicer looking.